is still scary and dangerous out there, with rescue crews in the Northeast focusing on clearing piles of snow that trapped people in their homes and cars. You've got the National Weather Service now warning of dangerously cold temperatures, along with intense wind chills. And that all might mean trouble for anybody still trying to fly this week. Forecasters say a lot of the eastern U.S. is going to be in a deep freeze throughout tonight. You see it there on the map. Temperatures are set to rebound tomorrow, but this storm has been deadly in 13 states, from Colorado to New York, where people killed have been found in their cars, even in snowbanks. And that was the case in western New York, a kind of ground zero for this winter catastrophe. Look at this. Look at some of these images you're seeing here, right? That is a house completely encased in snow. What to know about stimulus checks that are coming this year and going into next year? No, I'm not wearing my Christmas shirt. Unfortunately, I had to put it down and get it ready for next year. I have the most up-to-date news when it comes to stimulus checks hitting your mailbox and when it's going to happen, as well as some shocking news that is happening right here in our country. So hey guys, how did you like my Christmas present? I told you it was really, really going to be a good present, but I wanted to show you do some more things outside of this room that really kind of get us out and show you real day life, real day life of me, my family, and what I'm planning to do in the new year is take you along with me, maybe going to some stores, maybe going and doing some daily errands. Uh, let me know if you would like to see some of that down in the comments below, but I know that many of you love seeing Joel back on the screen. Hey, what is up you two? Welcome back to another show. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new to this channel, I'm your host, John Miro with True Life Investing. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We do a ton of giveaways right here on this channel that we'll do at the end of this video. We have a ton of stimulus check information, the most up-to-date that's out there. We do our daily research. We're your advocate for stimulus check news and things that are happening with Social Security and all of the things that really concern you and me on a daily basis. So right now on the screen, let's dive in so we can jump in and show you exactly what we're talking about. So the White House condemns Texas governor after migrants were dropped off outside Kamala Harris' house, Abbott abandoned children on the side of the road in below freezing temperatures. Now, of course, there is a huge debate going on anytime that it involves children, families being left out in weather that is really not good to be left out in. Uh, it causes a big issue. Looking at the picture here on the screen, you can see that there are several migrants there with this wall that was built with this to pretty much try to keep people from crossing over and yet again it doesn't stop uh, the flow of people that are trying to come over in fact El Paso has declared a state of an emergency for uh, to kind of partner in and help that people literally are flooding to the borders and they're crossing over as if you know it was you know they knew the border was about to close and again I know that the border still has a lot of gaps and if I'm not mistaken a lot of them were covered by the storage containers you remember the storage containers and and then they got over that, so it really didn't help. But the White House slammed the governor of Texas about the buses of migrants that arrived in Washington, D.C. It said that they arrived on Christmas Eve. And this comes as the future of immigration policy known as the Title 2042 remains uncertain. The White House condemns the governor because, you know what, he dropped off all these people on one of the coldest nights, Christmas Eve, and just left them there. And, and this is the record on the Nationals' capital. Now, the governor, Abbott, abandoned children on the side of the road in below freezing temperatures on Christmas Eve without coordinating with any federal or local authorities, which I can understand why he did that. This was cruel, dangerous, and a shameful stunt. And, you know, I'm kind of looking to see what the governor had to say about it. And again, I know why he didn't ask. I know why he never coordinated with any local authorities was because if he would have said, hey, I've got three buses full of migrants that, uh, that are coming your way, just be prepared, have something for them. They would say, don't do it. Make sure that you're not bringing them this way. We don't have nowhere for them. We don't have anything set up. And it would have been a big debate. But I wanted to show you that information here on the screen, the White House condemning the Texas governor because that affects people in Texas. It may not be in Tennessee because we're not at the border, but it really does affect those that are living in Texas. Why? It's because you have several people that are coming into the area 
either illegally or some sort of way. And yet again, it has to deal with your governor, deal with stimulus checks, things that are happening, because all of that has something to do with the way things are happening in Texas. For example, Texas hasn't sent out any stimulus check information, and why not? Why haven't they provided any any type of assistance for those on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, those on a low income. I've looked, did the daily research every single day for the last year. Texas has not been on the list. So when are they going to actually provide some information? Now let's move on because it's not the only governor that seems to be getting in trouble. DeSantis' request for COVID vaccine probe denounced by health experts. And what that means is, well, guess what? He wanted a petition for a grand jury investigation into COVID-19 vaccines in which he decries that the ongoing vaccine campaign as a propaganda by the Biden administration is drawing fierce criticism from health experts. He's literally challenging the vaccination really trying to make sure that they are doing their due diligence, that they're not just injecting this into people and not really being sure that it's going to help them. And that's all it is. And you know what they said? They said that his request betrays decades of established procedures designed to ensure the safety and efficiency of the vaccines and only serves to stroke further immunization fears. And I get it. A lot of people are worried about the vaccine because it was so quickly made. It didn't really do what people thought it would do because for, if you know if you know anybody who got the COVID shot, regardless of you getting sick or you not feeling better or you were feeling better, many people said when they got the vaccine, they got COVID. Never had it and then until they got the shot, then they got it. Some people died from it. Some people literally didn't have any effect on and some people really it hurt them and they're still dealing with illnesses and yet again i've seen this type of things before you'll have a huge debate on something that's passed by an administration and everybody's kind of divided and that's something that this governor is literally fighting against to get a grand jury to do an investigation now let us know your thoughts and comments down below because i'm kind of curious as to whether you believe he should do it or he shouldn't do it because it puts them in this predicament when the governor of the actual state has an issue with things that are happening in his area maybe in his state then should he stand up and fight or should he say, well, it's no need to do it. It's only going to cause a scene. Let us know down in the comments below. I'm kind of curious to see what you would say. Now, state stimulus checks 2023 want to know more about payments coming next year. Well, in March 2020, the American economy went into a full shutdown. Luckily, they passed a $1.7 trillion bill that now our government won't go back into that shutdown. But have you ever kind of wondered, why is our government always at the point of shutting down? I mean, literally, can they not get this thing figured out to where our economy can get back on track? Listen, I'm 32 years old and I'm getting tired of hearing our government being in the possibility of shutting down. I'm just saying, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm thinking crazy, but let me know down in the comments below. So there are a few states that have stood up and said, you know what, we are going to help our residents. And while many programs are slated to end in 2022, a few states still have 2023 payments on their schedule. And that's very, very important for many of you guys, many of you viewers, because you need to know if it's your state that's actually going to send out a stimulus check. For example, you have California. Now, many people haven't been given a check and that's about 5% of those in California. Many of you viewers have asked down in the comments saying, hey, when is California sending them out? Because I still haven't got it. Well, you may fall into that 5% of those people whose checks won't go out until January 15th of next year. Now, the rebates haven't changed, none of that, but 5% of those eligible in California, your check will not go out until January 15th. Now, if you look at Colorado, 
many people have been awaiting their payment, and it says it right here, which is slated to arrive no later than January 31st of 2023. And that's more news when it comes to Colorado because many of you have asked, well, what about Colorado? When am I going to see that check? And there, that news tells you it's no later than January 31st. Now, moving on to Idaho. Idaho approved their rebates to get passed to the people and they're also sending out 300 for single filers, 600 for joint filers, and these payments are slated to go out between now and the end of next month. So along the lines with Colorado, along the lines with California, it's kind of literally bleeding into the month of January. Now let's look at New Jersey. Renters are entitled to 450 as long as they do not earn more than 150,000. Payments are slated to arrive no later than May of 2023. Many people in New Jersey have been looking for some sort of relief and it looks like it's targeted to property tax owners, homeowners, renters that are literally paying and that as long as you don't make this much of money, then guess what? You're going to be eligible to receive a stimulus check, but it won't get there until May of next year. Looking at Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania began sending out payments to old renters, homeowners, and people with disabilities back in July. But guess what? That means that they're still sending payments out, but the deadline for filing a claim is December 31st, so you only got a few more days left. The payments will spill over to 2023 as well for qualifying residents who get their paperwork in before the deadline. So maybe you're in Pennsylvania, maybe you can file a claim. Make sure to get that done before December 31st so that way you can jump in on receiving a rebate in the state of Pennsylvania. Last on the list, South Carolina. South Carolina began issuing refund checks of up to $800 to qualifying residents in November. And I wish that everybody would get them, not just, just a certain select few that file taxes. I mean, if you're on a fixed income, you need help just as much as they do, right? So those who file their tax returns by October 17th will receive their payments by the end of this year. So if you were able to jump in, get your taxes done by October 17th, then guess what? You will receive your check this year. But those who filed after October 17th, and you must file before February 15th, you will receive your payments in March. So it looks like there's a month difference in the amount of time that it takes to get the check out to you. So again, this information is the state stimulus checks for 2023, what to know about payments that are coming next year. Now, I know that that doesn't do us really any good right now, but many people are really wanting to know if they are eligible, if they're getting a check, and when they're getting a check, and that is why we provide you with that stimulus check news. We tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. You made it to the end of the video to where we're going to talk about giveaways. We also have a movie segment where we show you a part of a movie. And if you can guess the movie which it came from, then you get your name entered in for a chance to win a mystery surprise gift. If you want another chance to win, then let us know that you are the number one fan for this channel that you like and subscribe and we'll put your name in a hat in a drawing for January 22nd. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Here is that quote from the movie. Because we live or we die by the clock. We never turn our back on it and we never ever allow ourselves the sin of losing track of time. It's a oldie, but it's a goodie. One of the best movies out there right now, in my opinion. I've watched this movie several, several times, probably more than I should have. But yet again, the psychological things that were happening just within the character itself was really drawing because there was things that, wow, I could literally put myself in his shoes if I was in his place and really get a good feel from the movie and me not even be there or in it. So that was really uh, drawing to me and that's why it was just a great movie. And the actor was amazing too. So maybe you can guess this movie for your chance to win. Again, if you wanna become part of the True Life Investing family, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. I've got a ton of information to bring you guys. So make sure to stay tuned for more videos to come. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.